Hey, welcome back. Vinny Physics here. So in the previous episode, uh, they did experiment one, and the experiment one, where they ran the Indy car uh, above the manhole cover at 150 miles per hour, and they saw mo no motion of the manhole cover. Uh, the math I ran predicted that uh, if there was a complete vacuum above the manhole cover um, with one atmosphere of pressure below it, we would have seen the thing move uh, 2.6 feet. Okay. So experiment number two is they lightened the manhole cover uh, to 30 pounds and again ran an Indy car above it at 150 miles per hour. So let's see, let's see how that went. So our manhole cover only weighs 30 pounds, which means we can get anything at all out of this. And there is some science here to salvage. 30 pounds is the weight of an average flat screen TV. And try lifting that with your home vacuum cleaner. That's a lot like what Adam and Logan are trying now, with the natural suction of a low slung race car. Whatever happens, this will be the day's last indie drag race. Good speed. It was 148. It's right up there with your top. Bingo! Let's see what we got. Let's see it. I'm going to need some help getting out. Finally, the cameras confirm a belated liftoff. Oh, oh, movement. That is so cool. Yep. It is lifting. It is totally lifting. That is awesome. Let's check the force gauge. Okay. 37. 37 pounds. It would have been enough to lift this out of the ground, but only just. Well, here's the thing. It did pull up our plastic manhole cover, and that weighs 30 pounds, which means it's not exactly a paper bag. But then, it's also not exactly a cast iron manhole cover, is it? I am disappointed with all of our small scale tests showing that there was definitely a force trying to lift that manhole cover. And we did see a significant amount of lift on the lighter manhole cover, but it wasn't enough to pull up the full-sized 130-pound one, and not with a 150-mile-an-hour car. It's busted. Yep, it's busted. Let's go. Play a cast iron man. <clears throat> okay, so they both agree that myth busted. Okay, is that the way it worked, or did they just simply not have instruments sensitive enough to measure the motion? Well, two uh, really uh, good pieces of data came out of experiment number two. So one is the fact that the thing moves uh, about uh, a third of an inch, is, which is about 0 .028 feet. <clears throat> and they also noticed a, an acceleration of the accelerometer generating a, uh, or indicating a net force of 37 pounds. Okay. So how can we use that information? Okay, let's go back to the net force equation. So force below the manhole cover minus the force above minus 30 pounds is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, and uh, again, they measured a net force of 37 pounds. So what does that tell us about the difference in forces due to air pressure below and above the manhole cover? Okay, so force below. Force above. Okay, they're certainly not equal, right? must be 67 pounds, right? The difference between these must be 67 pounds. And why is that? Because that's the number that makes this equation work. LBS minus 30 pounds is equal to 37 pounds. Okay? So that is some really useful information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug that back into the equation for the 130 pound manhole cover. 67 minus 130, right, is equal to MA. Okay? Well, that's a negative number, right? So I'm calling up positive. So the key comparison 
is there enough lift force? Does that exceed the weight of the manhole cover? And if it does, it accelerates up. If it doesn't, it doesn't accelerate. And the answer to that is no. Okay? So the conclusion is um, myth busted. There's simply not enough pressure difference between the bottom of the manhole cover and the top to generate a sufficient lift to lift the 130 pound manhole cover. In this case, I think you had to do that experiment number two to get this information. We knew there wasn't a complete vacuum above, but we weren't sure if there was any pressure difference at all. Experiment number two revealed it. And again, we were able to take that back to uh, experiment number one and compare that to 130 pounds and conclude, um, along with the Mythbusters, that uh, certainly there's not enough lift force to lift 130 uh, pound manhole cover. So that wraps that up. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.